Hello dear friends, my greetings, I greet you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Ruslan Kucharchuk, I am a head of Ukrainian Christian Journalist Association Novo Media and I am a journalist. By the way, in 2011 I have been on to NRB convention and it was 2011, but uh, now is 2022. And unfortunately, this year is a terrible, catastrophic process started and began in our native land. I'm making this video in the midnight, so the 13th day uh, we have a war in Ukraine, Russia attacked Ukraine on February 24. I wake up in the morning and about half past five o'clock in the morning, understanding that bombs are already attacking our land. Our land. And for these 12, 13 days, more than 600 bombs and rockets were pushed to different infrastructure uh, objects and on private ho houses and homes and uh, condominiums. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a terrible war uh, is existing on our land right now. It's not a, just a special operation or war conflict. It's a real war when thousands and thousands of people are dying and already died during the last 12 days. During the last 12 days, a million and 500,000 people began become a refugees out of Ukraine and even more become refugees inside Ukraine. For example, my family I have wife and four kids, uh, six months, three years, four years and six years. My family, we moved out of Kyiv. Uh, now we are in Ukraine, but out of Kyiv. Uh, for now we are in Ternopil, it's a western city of Ukraine, but even here in Ternopil and everywhere in Ukraine, alarm sirens are really often, every day. And we can only imagine what is happening right now in, for example, in, in Kyiv, in Kharkiv, in Chernigiv, in Kherson, in Mykolaiv, in Donbass. Uh, a huge Russian troops, more than 150,000 soldiers and Russian occupants stepped on our land. It's a huge shock. Nobody can, can explain why that happened. And what is happening? It's a, it's a Satan, demon, uh, uh, nature of this Russian war and conflict in, uh, against Ukraine. So we ask you to pray in the name of Jesus against this evil spirit, which is moving this occupation campaign above Ukraine. Please pray for our land, please pray for peace in Ukraine and pray for victory of Ukraine. Ukraine is totally peaceful nation. I think it's one of the most peaceful nations, I think so, in the world. In big cities people, they sleep and they live in... Uh, uh, like in uh, in metro station, for example, subway, subway, because a lot of condominium, huge buildings were destroyed by bombs and rockets. Thousands of people were killed. Of and, and Ukrainian soldiers and Ukrainian just civil citizens. And uh, for now. Uh, a lot of Ukrainian churches as well, evangelical churches, 
on western parts of our country now churches they just open their buildings and their private homes of believers for refugees when you travel now in Ternopil and Lviv in Ivano-Frankivsk or Chernivtsi or Uzhgorod a lot of churches just moved away and take away their seats and chairs and just lay down mattress on the floor and dozen and dozen and dozen 20 50 70 even 100 mattress mattresses are on the floor just to allow ukrainian refugees and women especially and kids to spend several nights or many nights inside church buildings because there is no enough even private homes and of course even more like hotel rooms uh, so uh, people just live in, in 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 church in church buildings and uh, so ukrainian church and ukrainian body of christ is doing a huge work to save lives to save lives of ukrainian people and of ukrainian christians as well you see nobody knows what will happen tomorrow but for now my decision decision of my family and my team to stay in ukraine of course a lot of a lot of people they move out of ukraine and and uh, it's possible to understand that for example my kids for now the eldest son he is six years old he is really worried when the alarm siren starts but uh, anyway for now we are in ukraine and we try to assist to help people who uh, are in need uh, almost all my staff moved out of kiev but uh, uh, one person one staff person is in kharkiv kharkiv is under constant russian bomb attacks right now but he lives in, in kharkiv for now and a couple of them are in Kyiv, but the majority are moved out from Kyiv. So, dear brothers and, and sisters, uh, terrible, dramatic, historical process is now in our country and in our land. We cannot explain, but we totally lay our hope on God's mercy. And we ask you, please pray for us. Pray for peace in Ukraine, pray for, pray for victory of Ukraine, and please help as you can, with your prayers, with your humanitarian aid, with your donations, with your voice lifted up for the truth and for the peace. Thank you for your attention. We love you, and my Lord, Lord is our good shepherd and we pray for his mercy and believe he will save our lives and he will save our land